Do you like Nintendo 64 games? By golly I do. And with a great game for you today, developed and published by Nintendo, this is Pilot Wing 64. Pilot Wings has six characters to choose from and many missions and extras to unlock. At the start of each mission you'll be given an overview which will detail exactly what you'll need to do in order to achieve maximum points and what do points mean? Points mean more prizes and prizes on this game come in the form of extra modes of play. One of the first things you'll notice when you play Pilot Wing 64 is the sheer vastness of the game. Each of the areas where you can fly around in give you a great sense of space and you can pretty much go anywhere that you can see. This is one of the first games to truly master this. Considering this was one of the launch games for the Nintendo 64, I'm kind of impressed still by the graphics. It's nice that you can actually go anywhere, the polygons look pretty good, and the resolution and frame rate all pretty consistent. Pilot Wings 64 may appear to be a very simple and straightforward game, but underneath the core mechanics is a very difficult and challenging flight simulation game. Mastering all of the vehicles and ways in which you can get around the island take time and practice. Also, to score maximum points and earn the gold medals, you'll need to achieve everything that's been described on the objective list. Making mistakes whilst completing the missions will cost you points. Everything from bumping into the sides, touching down on ground, will come off a deduction at the end of the mission, lowering your score and making you miss out on the chance of getting the gold medals. Pilot Wing 64 is a game that rewards patience and is kind of a relaxing game to play. There's not really too much fast paced action and a lot of it is based more on skill rather than quick responses. However, the game will reward you for your patience because you will unlock additional modes of gameplay These extra game modes include Jumble Hopper, Cannonball Mode and also Skydiving. There's one extra mode everybody always remembers and that's the Birdman Mode. Basically there's no objectives here, it's just a chance to fly around the island and try to find as many of the secrets as you can. Whilst the game got generally positive reviews, there were a few things that were brought up in terms of negative aspects of the game. Firstly was the screen size was not optimised and it wasn't really taking full use of the screen size which would be available. This is kind of annoying but a lot of Nintendo 64 games did this. Secondly, the music while some of the tracks are fantastic, the rest of them do sound a little bit like lounge jazz music and not really suited too much to the game. If you played the sequel or the prequel, you'll kind of know what to expect with Pilot Wings 64. Although it doesn't break from the mould too much, this is still a fantastic game with so much to see and do and plenty to keep you busy for months ahead. You can probably tell by the mission select screen that I absolutely love Pilot Wings 64. I've great memories of this being one of the earliest Nintendo 64 games I played. But how do you remember Pilot Wings 64? Let me know in the comments below. I love to read how you remember games. Oh, 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 oh,